Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Study Junction and in this video we are going to discuss some of the important questions of chapter Atoms and Molecules for Class 9 Science. So let's start. So first of all we are going to focus on some of the long answer type questions. So first of all, uh, what are the postulates of Dalton's atomic theory and its limitations? Basically postulates would be asked to you but limitations would not be asked. Uh, next question state and explain law of conservation of mass so this is important and the second part is also important then uh, third question law of constant proportions and uh, which law of uh, Dalton's atomic theory explains this so uh, these two co um, uh, questions are very important these are present in the NCRT back exercise too so it's very very important also i made a video on the same chapter previously too so i had mentioned uh, the same important questions there too so you can check out that video too otherwise i would try to cover all the important questions in this one so uh, next are some of the important definitions so with the, this defin these definitions i would like to add the definition of atomicity too so you can be asked the definition of atomicity along with the atomicity of sulfur and phosphorus specifically other uh, the atomicity of other elements can also be asked but uh, preferably uh, sulfur or phosphorus is taken so definition of uh, that atomicity along with the atomicity of sulfur and ph phosphorus you should prepare so your yeah, next question is on the definition of mole in terms of mass or number so mole, uh, definition of mole is generally not asked but numericals on mole concept uh, will be asked in a large number at least three to four numericals are going to be asked uh, on mole concept so all the formulas you need to prepare really well now let's see the three marks important questions so all the important three marks questions are similar as five marks important questions only these are all the same just uh, another new thing here is the uh, elements whose name have been uh, derived from latin so uh, their symbols you need to know and you can be asked why if uh, let's take copper only so if it's symbol uh, you can be asked what is the symbol of and what is its latin name and why is it named so so this can be one question for three or two marks so uh, you should be clear with all the latin names from this chapter then again definition so definitions are integral part of every chapter of science so uh, definitions you have to prepare all but just the questions how they can be interpreted i am uh, telling you and i'm also telling you that these questions uh, might not be asked as such in the exam but if you prepare these uh, questions then uh, you can be satisfactory uh, when you uh, go to the exam hall that you have prepared this chapter really well by doing all these questions so i try to cover all the important concepts in my videos so do watch them till the end now if we go towards the two marks important questions then uh, they are not uh, many basically numericals you need to prepare from this chapter all the questions are same which we have already covered in three and five marks so yeah there is one question a third question difference between an atom and a molecule so uh, you can do this one but others are all the same if you are clear with the definitions if you are clear with the concepts then your chapter is already prepared so no need to um, rush after questions so because these will be the ultimate questions only so now one mark important questions there aren't many the concepts are the same they can just be asked in a shorter form uh, you, you should be clear